Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a for next loop in VBA. We'll also see how to use the step increment option and the exit for command. This will be the first in a series of videos on VBA loops. So stay tuned to my channel if you want to learn all there is to know about different loops in VBA. Of course, this is a developer lesson. So if you've never done any programming in VBA before, go watch this video first. It teaches you everything you need to know in about 20 minutes. And if you've never used a variable before, go watch this video. These are very important for loops. These are free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch them and come on back. I'll wait for you. Okay, so the for next loop is the most basic, simplest loop you can do in VBA. This is good if you know exactly how many times you want the loop to repeat. And it's basically looks like this for counter equals start to end some code here and then next. So, for example, if you want the loop to run 10 times, it's for X equals one to 10 and it will count up one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Do some stuff and then next and it'll repeat that many times. You can optionally specify a step increment and that will have the counter add that much to its value. So for example, for X equals one to 10, step two will have X go up by two each time. So it's gonna go one, three, five, and so on until it hits 10 or is over 10. And if something happens inside the loop and you wanna immediately get out of it, then you can use the exit for command. Let's take a look at an example in excess. Okay, this is a copy of my tech help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to, you'll find the links down below. And I have this thing here called the hello world button that just puts some message in the status box. So we're gonna use this. I like to use this guy for outputting stuff. Or right? if you're outputting messages for the user, you just hit that button and it uses a status box to put stuff in there. So I've got a whole separate video on how the status box works. If you're not familiar with it, if you've never watched any of my videos before, go watch this guy. All right, so I'm in design view and we're gonna change this from the hello world button. We're just gonna put on here run loop. And let's make this a little bit bigger so we've got some room here. Just like this. All right. Let's go right click, build event. Here I am in my code. And instead of hello world here, let's say I just want to output the numbers from 1 to 10. Okay, we're going to start off by declaring our variable dim x as along. Then our loop for x equals 1, 2, 10 enter enter and then put next down there i like to put my next on the bottom first before i write the stuff inside the loop because sometimes i forget to put that on the bottom all right now we're going to tab in here indentation is important vba doesn't care but it's good to make your code readable right if you look at it later you don't want to be going what? what what did i do so make sure you indent properly and now we're just going to write that number out to the status box so we'll use my status function right the number is and X, little string concatenation there. All right, and that's it. That's your first simple loop. Let's save that, come back over here, and let's run it. Boom, there you go. And remember the status box runs backwards. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10. That's a nice simple loop. Let's take a look at that step indicator, right? If we wanna come over here and say step two, that means every time it loops, it's gonna add two to that value. Okay, save it, come back out here, run it again. And there you go, it started right here, right? One, three, five, seven, nine, gave you all the odd numbers. If you want even numbers, you could start this at two, just say for X equals two to 10. And now, there you go, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Let's say you wanna total all of those up as you're looping, let's come back over here. Let's get rid of that step. Let's say we wanna add up the values from one to 10, right? One plus two plus three plus four and so on, all the way up to 10. So we'll need another variable to hold that. We'll call it total as long. We'll have to start the total off at zero. So total equals zero. And then inside the loop here, we'll say total equals total plus X, whatever our counter is. So it's gonna start off at zero and then go to one plus two is three right and so we'll say the number is x and then period total colon and total see that and if you're not familiar with this thing the string concatenation that's just putting multiple strings together i got a video on that too i'll put it down in the link section down below 
All right, let's see what we get now. Come back out here, click, and there we go, right? One, three, six, plus four is 10, plus five is 15, plus six is 21, see that? Every loop, it's adding onto that total. Now, if for some reason you wanna get out of that loop before you reach 10, and this happens in the real world in a lot of situations, like if you're looping through records and you wanna say, hey, if I find someone from New York, exit out of that loop, right? That's what that exit for is for. So you can come down here, and let's say if that total is divisible by five, then we wanna exit the loop prematurely, right? If total mod five equals zero. Mod is the modulus or it's the remainder after an integer division, right? So if you take 10 mod three, the answer is gonna be one because 10 divided by three is three and that's nine and there's one left over. Again, I got a whole video on modulus. If you wanna learn more about that, I'll put a link down below. All right, so if total mod five, that means if the total is divisible evenly by five, if that equals zero, then exit four. It'll exit right out of the loop. All right, save it. And I'm gonna come up here and say status box equals blank before the loop starts. That way it clears the box every time we click the button. Then we don't gotta guess where it started every time, right? All right, ready, click. And look at that, it was counting up. It's on its way from one to 10 and then it hit 10 as a total. And that is divisible by five, right? So it exited the loop and that's how you get out of a for loop. So that is the basics of a for next loop. We've got lots more loops to come. Stay tuned to my channel for more. In the meantime, if you wanna learn more about for next loops, I cover them in my Access Developer Level 3 class. It's about an hour and a half long. It covers all kinds of different stuff. More about variables, dim, message box, random numbers, input box, and lots more. And if you like learning VBA with me, if you enjoy my style, if you're, if you're having fun learning, check out my developer lessons. There's a link right there. I'll put one down below you can click on. It'll take you to my website and you can see all the different stuff I've got available. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't wanna to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really wanna learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video 
that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.